best case scenario for getting out of this situation currently and diplomatically the best case scenario? Best case, I think, would be moratorium on NATO membership for Ukraine. Say, look, let's shelve this for the moment while we try to work out all these things with Russia. One, um, return to the conventional forces in Europe agreement, which after all, we all signed in the 90s. And then both sides, it has to be said, you know, violated in different ways. But, you know, we could commit ourselves to returning to that in principle. Now that the dangers of not doing so are so clear, mm -hmm. um, try to uh, negotiate a new a ban on intermediate short-range nuclear forces in Europe. And one thing I think is very important, since the end of the Cold War, the United States has really set out in many ways to, to destroy the United Nations as a you know as an international mediating force. Yes. <laughs> you know, now the UN is the one place, the only place which does have a, a measure of you know universal international global legitimacy. Um, and of course, all of us are represented there, the Russians, the Chinese, as well as the West. Let's try to use the United Nations to solve some of these you know, conflicts that are going on around the fringes of Europe on the basis of common standards. The Russians would have to give up something, for example, in Kosovo. We would have to recognize realities, and by the way, local democratic realities in various parts of the former Soviet Union. So I think you know, th there is the possibility still of a of a diplomatic solution to all this and the Donbass, you know, autonomy within Ukraine. It's the only way. That's what we would be supporting in any other conflict of this kind. Mm. Yeah. Donbass autonomy, I don't really know what that means. Can you explain before I let you go? Yeah, uh, guaranteed autonomy for the Donbass within Ukraine, under Ukrainian sovereignty, with an international peacekeeping force responsible for security. I mean, it's the only way that conflict can be solved. Because if it is a heavily Russian uh, sort of or ethnically Russian region of Ukraine. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, I mean, it's di very difficult to say now what people really want, but certainly until the t 2014 and the Ukrainian revolution, you know, I was in the Donbass and the overwhelming majority of the population wanted local autonomy. Um, they didn't necessarily oppose being in Ukraine, but they hated Ukrainian ethnic nationalism. Yeah. Uh, but uh, very understandable local cultural reasons. So I think, you know, this is, once again, th this is a reasonable, objective solution. This is what we would be supporting anywhere else in the world. And if we're not really supporting it in the case of the Donbass, um, you know, frankly, it's about anti-Russian geopolitical c considerations and, and sheer prejudice. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.